Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Tips video. So in today's video, I wanted to make like a sort of like a part two video on the Monster Bruce Wayne. I've recently reviewed it. I'm sure you guys have watched my review. If you haven't already, I recommend checking it out. Um, so Social Point gave me this monster early and um, once I reviewed it, at the end of that video, I went ahead and showcased something and I'm not sure if all of you guys really watched it up till the end. So that's why I wanted to make like a whole part two because I saw some comments on my last video on Bruce Wayne specifically and you guys weren't really liking this monster as much. Um, like someone has said that this is like a knocked out version of Chuckle Muckle. And um, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna basically try to make you guys like this monster in today's video, okay? Because um, you can use this strategy and win against this one whole meta that's going on right now. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. So. I have a 150 Bruce Wayne here. For the runes, you can go with three team speed, you could go with two team speed, one speed. Um, here is what I mean. So once it's fully ready, make sure you're running wake up call or just wake up. I don't know why I call it a wake up call, but wake up. Uh, that's a skill that you want to run. And um, you don't really need a mega taunt here. And also ignore that life rune. I just had to uh, swap a rune, so just ignore that. But uh, as you guys can see, I'm running two attackers. You can run a Megaton if you want. I have a Sire Clar. I could run that if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do it. Um, it's cool if you want to run it, but you'll still be safe even if you don't run a Megaton. So let me, let me show you guys something real quick. On my defense, not defense, sorry, attack. So I recently attacked this player, right? Look, this player was running a Tabora and a Koldama. Normally, you see this type of team a lot on PvP, okay? You see it a lot and there's a way to sort of like counter that all right so you can stop losing against these type of bases because they're super super annoying even if you have a mega taunt they still end up hitting you with that cda and this monster still ends up in removing your positives and basically trade disabling you which is super super annoying so here here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go on a fight hopefully we'll find a base like this uh nope that's not it i'm gonna try to find one okay so it's either Arbat or what the heck is that? It's either Arbat or um, what's it called? Kodama that they are using in their base uh, for that CDA. So let me see if I could find one. Holy cow. I found one earlier. That one's kind of close. I wish that was uh, Tabora right there. Unfortunately, it was not. Let me see. Oh, this right here. Okay, so perfect. See this type of base right here. Um. I have 16,126. Cool, cool, cool. This is perfect. So see, this is what I meant with the rune setup. You can go with two team speeds and one speed if you want to, or you can go with full team speed. That's fine too. As long as you take in that third um, third uh, turn order, that makes sense. Okay, so here's what was, what's going to happen. So Boro takes in the first turn, probably hits me with removal positives and yep, trade disable me. But look, I didn't get trade disabled and this monster just hit me with CDA, right? As you guys just saw, I got hit with CDA, and don't worry, even if the monster like Kodama ends up hitting me with the um, trap and whatever that was, it wasn't a trap, it was amulet and mask, right, that removed my stamina, no worries, you know why? Because when you use wake up call, it resource all cooldown and also apply stamina regen. So look at the turn order, on top, the next two turns, it's both of my attackers. You can do attackers, you can do whatever you want, it's really up to you. And look. All my um, attacks were back up, right? Because I restored all cooldowns and also the stamina um, stamina regen from Bruce Wayne. But this monster, uh, the shark monster, doesn't really need that stamina because I'm sure he has it uh, on rank 3. He gets it as a status caster. But since I wasn't running a Megaton monster, she went ahead and removed positives and basically trade disabled me, which also ended up, of course, removing my stamina regen uh, or status cast or whatever you want to call it. So I could go ahead and hit you with fast as a shark that almost ended up eliminating you. And laser beam sword kicked in as well. Now Zuper Fox is going up next. You could go with uh, three, um, what's it called? You could go with three strength as well if you want to on either one of or two of your attackers if you want to do that. That's cool. Um, but I'm not gonna take it too harsh. Oh, you have Ural Essen. Okay, whatever. I'll take it harsh. Oh, you removed my Pierce. I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. So at least we got rid of your Megaton there, your tank. Now, they're basically gonna hit you with all those stuff, all the tortures and everything. That is fine. Once again, that's completely fine. Because you know what? 
you have this skill right here. Where nope, that's not it. The immune to torture skill. When you use this, you'll damage the enemy and also you'll get rid of any of the torture. So for example, there's quicksand on me. I'm going to go ahead and basically get rid of that quicksand if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and use Olmec Project, giving me immune to torture now. So it got rid of quicksand, but I still have some other negative side effects, but that's fine. Okay, that's that's completely fine. I could, for example, do punch. I think that's going to miss. Nope, that's not going to miss. Cool. Laser beam sword kicked in, eliminated you, and you came back with your revival. My favorite trick, toxic wrath. Okay, that's fine. That is cool with me. I'll just do something like this. Zero cooldown skill. I believe that was right. Charge up. Charge up again. Recharged. And I could do any of these skills. Yeah, this is a zero cooldown skill. So if you do get hit with single target um, CDA, then you could just go ahead and use that as a backup. And I could basically end up eliminating this monster with any of my skills here, of course. But I'm not going to do that because it won't be fair to win this battle. But you guys get the idea here, right? If you were really tired of um, basically that whole meta right there, like you were tired of seeing that in PvP and you kept on losing it like I was, then you could do something like this and end up um, winning still. So here is why you don't really need a Mega Taunt with this monster. Because... If you face a base like that, you know how the other monster, what is it called? Tabora removes positive artifacts and trade disables. Let's say you have a Mega Taunt, that happens to your Mega Taunt. Um, Bruce Wayne, you don't even really need a Mega Taunt monster because the trade disable, he has the, he has that area. So that AoE trade disable won't really land on this monster because of, of course, that area. You know? You know what I mean? Uh, you guys just saw it in the first battle that I just did earlier, so I'm sure you got the idea there. But um, if you want me to pair it up with Cyroclar, let's do it. Sure, why not? A Mega Taunt, okay? We'll do it. Nope, that's not the base. Oh, that's Sammy! <laughs> that's actually Sammy, um, one of my viewers. Okay, I know this isn't what you were expecting. The type of base that I mentioned earlier and the battle that I did with Tabor and stuff. This one isn't really like that, but there is a CDA monster. And once again, um, even if I wasn't running a Mega Taunt monster here, and this monster went ahead and took in the first turn and basically hit me with TDA, it wouldn't really land. So Soul Eater, even if I wasn't running a Mega Taunt monster, it'll still be fine because I have Dodge Area. Now, let's say I want to restore cooldown on that monster and give that monster more stamina, right? Or stamina regen. I could go ahead and do that and help him out, just like that. So now that monster's skills are back up and the monster has stamina regen. So now I could do something like this. Bam. Eliminate you real quick because you're the resurrector. You're going to be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to quickly get rid of you. And heist, what are you going to do? Blow the ashes, fire weakness. Yep. Okay. So take a look at this. Mantis Claw. Okay, whatever. Kick then. Cool. The monster skills are back up. See? They're back up. Because of that. Um, so I uh, know what I can do is probably freeze you since you're going up next. Just like that. You're frozen now. Remove stamina. It's okay because remember I have stamina regen. Wake up remove or wake up uh, applies stamina regen, which is really cool. Um So what could I do here? I could also just continue spamming this. Because it resource cooldown over and over again. And remember, this monster used his single target, Orange Blast, earlier. I could go ahead and restore that real quick, just like that. And the monster takes in the turn, adds Orange Blast again. And with that Orange Blast, I could basically just eliminate you. Ozama, bye-bye. You're gone. So, this type of team isn't really that bad, honestly. Once again, you don't really need a Mega Taunt, but if you want to run a Mega Taunt, that's cool too. Um, so, it's really optional, I'd say. But... It just basically uh, has a great impact against a base like this. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. Yep, that's I, I don't see it anymore. But you know what I mean, right? That one base that we saw earlier with like a Tabora. Oh, a base like this, kind of, not really. Where is that? This base. No, that's not the base. This is the base right here. Take a look at this. So you have your Megatoth. Then you have your Tabora. 
and then you have your Aurobath with the CDA. So uh, that is actually pretty good against um, bases like those. So if you were annoyed by those types of bases, uh, this monster should be um, very helpful against that. And um, anyways, I'm going to go on and hatch this monster. Oops, okay. I guess I'll have to free up something. But anyways, guys, so that is going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Legends video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this mythic, okay? I really would like to hear it. I uh, would love to hear it. I'd like to think of this monster as a cosmic hornet. You guys know the monster hornet? The legendary thunder. Um, I like to think of the monster as a cosmic version of hornet because of the immune to control skill, the um, the dodge area, of course, as a trait, and a couple other things. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but overall, I don't really dislike the monster. I don't think the monster is too overpowered, but it is really, really good against Tabora and our bat bases or Kodama bases, whatever it is, okay? Uh, it kind of like counters it, so it's really, really good. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.